Hi, I'm Tom Lippincott, and this is Body and Soul Putting Chords to Work. So today we're going to be talking about uh, an exercise that I do to uh, get more familiar with certain chord voicings. As a matter of fact, this is a little bit of an un unusual class, uh, not as typical as a lot of the ones I've done in the past. Basically, uh, when I was going through some practice materials that, that I use, I came across uh, an exercise that I had sort of written out for myself to, to practice uh, some chord voicings and I realized, you know, this would make a pretty good class. It's one thing to sort of teach your hands to go to a certain chord voicing, you know, a C chord. And then when you're first learning how to play the guitar, okay, I can do that. But then how easy is it to grab that chord when you're in the real world situation? So. That's what this class is about, is how to take some of these voicings that you maybe know, you've, you have played them and you know what they are, but when you find yourself in a performance situation, they're not coming out. Obviously, you can see I have eight strings here. The inner six are just the regular guitar strings, E, A, D, G, B, E. This isn't gonna impact you guys viewing this class whatsoever. I'm only going to be using the inner six strings, which are the same exact strings you guys have. I just went right up. Now when I get to the next chord in the song, which is B flat dominant seven, I'm not going to jump back down to the bottom of the neck. I'm going to find a voicing of B flat seven that's close by this one that I just finished up with on the top four strings. strings 5, 4, 3, and 1, where I'm skipping string 2, where the notes here are D flat, E flat, B flat, G flat, and then I go up the inversions. And so forth. about here is taking uh, a chord voicing that has enough notes in common with the basic chord that it can be substituted and it adds some extra flavor. It's F minor 7 which is a drop 2 and 4. So if I know some of this basic stuff and can play all these basic chords in different inversions uh, that just increases my actual chord vocabulary many fold. This chord not wants to resolve to here. And if I put some extra tension in it, it enhances the resolution to, to gives you a more interesting story, maybe more action happened in the story. Now on page 12, you'll see a list of all the chords in body and soul that we're talking about. And I've listed after each one, uh, possible substitutes based on that list that we just showed. And this actually is the original inspiration for this class is I had just written this stuff out going through the chords of body and soul and practicing playing all these voicings in different versions and different types of voicings. <laughs> So how do I make that leap from doing that to actually playing these on a gig or playing them, you know, in a real world situation? So that's th this last example I've kind of composed, giving you uh, an example of how I might go about using this new information that I've got in a real world situation. I'm s using some of these substitute sounds and different inversions and hopefully in ways that are a little more a uh, bit fresh and not so cliche for jazz guitar so to speak <laughs> Uh, using the 
these ideas has really helped me broaden my harmonic palette and get a lot of these voicings more comfortable so that I can use them in an improvised setting. And that's my hope for you too. Thank you.